50,000 Quaor, provisional designation 2002 LM60, is a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object Cubueno, and possibly a dwarf planet in the Kuiper belt, located in the outermost region of the Solar System. It measures approximately 1,110 km in diameter or half the size of Pluto. The object was discovered by American astronomers Chad Trujillo and Michael Brown at the Palomar Observatory on 6 June 2002. Signs of water ice have been found, which suggests that cryovolcanism may be occurring. A small amount of methane is present on its surface, which can only be retained by the largest Kuiper belt objects. In February 2007, Waywat, a 80 km sized synchronous minor planet moon in orbit of Quaor, was discovered by Michael Brown. Both objects were named after mythological figures from the Native American Tongva people in Southern California. Quaor is the Tongva creator deity and Waywat is his son. <laughs> Discovery Quaor was officially discovered on June 6, 2002, by astronomers Chad Trujillo and Michael Brown at the California Institute of Technology, from images acquired at the Samuel Oshin Telescope at Palomar Observatory. The actual discovering image was taken on June 4, 2002, 5 hours 41 minutes and 40 seconds UT and analyzed on June 5, 2002, 10 hours 48 minutes and 8 seconds Pacific Daylight Saving Time. The discovery of this magnitude 18.5 object, at the time located in the constellation Ophiuchus, was announced on October 7, 2002, at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society. The earliest prediscovery image proved to be a May 25, 1954, plate from the Palomar Observatory Sky Survey. When Quaor was just discovered, it was advertised as 10th planet by some press media. Name. Quaor is named for the Tongva Creator God, following International Astronomical Union IAU naming conventions for non-resonant Kuiper Belt objects. The Tongva are the native people of the area around Los Angeles, where the discovery of Quaor was made. Brown et al. had picked the name with the more intuitive spelling Quaor, but the preferred spelling among the Tongva was Quaor. Prior to IAU approval of the name, Quaor went by the provisional designation 2002 LM60. The minor planet number 50,000 was not coincidence, but chosen to commemorate a particularly large object found in the search for a Pluto-sized object in the Kuiper belt, parallel to the similarly numbered 20,000 Varuna. However, subsequent even larger discoveries such as 136,199 Eris were simply numbered according to the order in which their orbits were confirmed. Topic. Size. In 2004, Quaor was estimated to have a diameter of 1260 plus or minus 190 kilometers, subsequently revised downward, which at the time of discovery in 2002 made it the largest object found in the solar system since the discovery of Pluto. Quaor was later supplanted by Eris, Sedna, Haumea, and Makemake, though Sedna was later found to be somewhat smaller than Quaor. Quaor is about as massive as if somewhat smaller than Pluto's moon Charon, which is approximately two and a half times as massive as Orcus. Quaor is roughly one-twelfth the diameter of Earth, one-third the diameter of the Moon, and half the size of Pluto. Quaor was the first trans-Neptunian object to be measured directly from Hubble Space Telescope HST images, using a new, sophisticated method see Brown's pages for a non-technical description and his paper for details. Given its distance Quaor is on the limit of the HST resolution 40 milliarc seconds and its image is consequently smeared on a few adjacent pixels. By comparing carefully this image with the images of stars in the background and using a sophisticated model of HST optics point spread function PSF, Brown and Trujillo were able to find the best fit disk size that would give a similar blurred image. This method was recently applied by the same authors to measure the size of Eris. 
The uncorrected 2004 HST estimates only marginally agree with the 2007 infrared measurements by the Spitzer Space Telescope SST that suggest a higher albedo 0.19 and consequently a smaller diameter 106.7-189.6 kilometers during the 2004 HST observations. Little was known about the surface properties of Kuiper belt objects, but we now know that the surface of Quaor is in many ways similar to those of the icy satellites of Uranus and Neptune. Adopting a Uranian satellite limb darkening profile suggests that the 2004 HST size estimate for Quaor was approximately 40% too large, and that a more proper estimate would be about 900 km. Using a weighted average of the SST and corrected HST estimates, Quaor, as of 2010, can be estimated at about 890 plus or minus 70 km in diameter. On 4 May 2011, Quaor occulted a 16th magnitude star, which gave 1,170 km as the longest chord and suggested an elongated shape. New measurement from Herschel Space Observatory with revised data from SST suggested that Quaor has a diameter of 1070 plus or minus 38 kilometers and its satellite Waywat of 81 plus or minus 11 kilometers. Topic: Classification. Because Quaor is a binary object, the mass of the system can be calculated from the orbit of the secondary Quaor's estimated density of around 2.2 g per cc and estimated size of 1,100 km suggests that it is a dwarf planet. American astronomer Michael Brown estimates that rocky bodies around 900 km in diameter relax into hydrostatic equilibrium, and that icy bodies relax into hydrostatic equilibrium somewhere between 200 and 400 km. With an estimated mass greater than 1.6 times 1,021 kg, Quaor has the mass and diameter usually required for being in hydrostatic equilibrium according to the 2006 IAU draft definition of a planet 5 times 1,020 kg, 800 km, and Brown states that Quaor must be a dwarf planet. Light curve amplitude analysis shows only small deviations, suggesting that Quaor is indeed a spheroid with small albedo spots and hence a dwarf planet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hit and run collision. Planetary scientist Eric Asfog has suggested that Quaor may have collided with a much larger body, stripping the lower density mantle from Quaor and leaving behind the denser core. He envisions that Quaor was originally covered by a mantle of ice that made it 300 to 500 km bigger than it is today, and that it collided with another Kuiper belt body about twice its size an object roughly the diameter of Pluto or even approaching the size of Mars, possibly Pluto itself. This model was made assuming Quaor actually had a density of 4.2 g per cc, but more recent estimates have given it a more Pluto-like density of only 2 g per cc, with no more need for the collision theory. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Orbit. Quaor orbits at about 43.3 astronomical units, 6.48 times 109 kilometers, 4.02 times 109 miles from the sun with an orbital period of 284.5 years. Its orbit is nearly circular and moderately inclined at approximately 8 degrees, typical for the population of small classical Kuiper belt objects (KBO), but exceptional among the large KBOs. Pluto, Makemake, Haumea, Orcus, Varuna, and Salacia are all on highly inclined, more eccentric orbits. Quaor is the largest body that is classified as a cubueno by both the Minor Planet Center and the Deep Ecliptic Survey. The polar view compares the near circular orbit of Quaor to the highly eccentric e equals orbit of Pluto, Quaor's orbit in blue, Pluto's in red, Neptune in gray. The circles illustrate the positions in April 2006, relative sizes, and colors. The perihelia Q, aphelia Q, and the dates of passage are also marked. At 43 astronomical units and a near circular orbit, Quaor is not significantly perturbed by Neptune, unlike Pluto, which is in 2 to 3 orbital resonance with Neptune. The ecliptic view illustrates the relative inclinations of the orbits of Quaor and Pluto. Note that Pluto's aphelion is beyond and below Quaor's orbit, so that Pluto is closer to the Sun than Quaor at some times of its orbit, and farther at others. 
As of 2008, Quaor was only 14 astronomical units from Pluto, which made it the closest large body to the pluto charon system. By Kuiper belt standards this is very close. Physical characteristics Quaor's albedo could be as low as 0.1, which would still be much higher than the lower estimate of 0.04 for Varuna. This may indicate that fresh ice has disappeared from Quaor's surface. The surface is moderately red, meaning that Quaor is relatively more reflective in the red and near infrared than in the blue. 20,000 Varuna and 28,978 Ixion are also moderately red in the spectral class. Larger KBOs are often much brighter because they are covered in more fresh ice and have a higher albedo, and thus they present a neutral color, see color comparison. A 2006 model of internal heating via radioactive decay suggested that, unlike Orcus, Quaor may not be capable of sustaining an internal ocean of liquid water at the mantle core boundary. Cryovolcanism In 2004, scientists were surprised to find signs of crystalline ice on Quaor, indicating that the temperature rose to at least minus 160 degrees Celsius (110 K or minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit) sometime in the last 10 million years. Speculation began as to what could have caused Quaor to heat up from its natural temperature of minus 220 degrees Celsius (55 K or minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit). Some have theorized that a barrage of mini meteors may have raised the temperature, but the most discussed theory speculates that cryovolcanism may be occurring, spurred by the decay of radioactive elements within Quaor's core. Since then, 2006, crystalline water ice was also found on Haumea, but present in larger quantities and thought to be responsible for the very high albedo of that object 0.7. More precise, 2007 observations of Quaor's near-infrared spectrum indicate the presence of small 5% quantity of solid methane and ethane. Given its boiling point 112 K, methane is a volatile ice at average quaor surface temperatures, unlike water ice or ethane boiling point 185 K. Both models and observations suggest that only a few larger bodies Pluto, Eris, Makemake, can retain the volatile ices whereas the dominant population of small TNOs lost them. Quaor, with only small amounts of methane, appears to be in an intermediary category. In 2019, when the New Horizons mission visits the small Kuiper Belt object 486958-2014 MU69 after having visited Pluto in 2015, knowledge of the surfaces of KBOs should improve. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Satellite Waywat. Quaor has one known moon, Waywat full designation 50,000 Quaor I Waywat. Its discovery by Michael E. Brown was reported in IAUC 8812 on the 22nd of February 2007 based on imagery taken on the 14th of February 2006. The satellite was found at 0.35 arcsec from Quaor with an apparent magnitude difference of 5.6. TWO possible orbits have been determined from the observations. The first is a prograde orbit with an inclination of 14 degrees, the second a retrograde orbit with an inclination of 30 degrees, 150 degrees. The other parameters are very similar between the two orbits. It orbits at a distance of 14,500 km from the primary and has an eccentricity of about 0.14. It completes one orbit in about 12.5 days, from the surface of Quaor and at a point where Waywat is at zenith it would have an angular diameter of 15.9 arcminutes at apoapsis and 21.4 arcminutes at periapsis, in comparison the moon's size varies between 29.4 and 33.5 arcminutes. Its apparent magnitude at full phase would be about minus 3, comparable to Jupiter at maximum brightness, assuming an equal albedo and density to the primary. The apparent magnitude suggests that the Moon has a diameter of about 74 km. Of Quaor. Waywat is estimated to only have 1 2,000th the mass of Quaor. <laughs> Name Upon discovery, Waywat was issued a provisional designation, S. 2006 one Brown left the choice of a name up to the Tongva whose creator god Quaor had been named after, who chose the sky god Waywat, son of Quaor. 
The name was made official in MPC No. 67220 published on October 4, 2009. Exploration It was calculated that a flyby mission to Quaor could take 13.57 years using a Jupiter gravity assist, based on launch dates of 25 December 2016, 22 November 2027, 22 December 2028, 22 January 2030 or 20 December 2040. Quaor would be 41 to 43 astronomical units from the Sun when the spacecraft arrives. In July 2016 New Horizons spacecraft took a sequence of four images of Quaor from a distance of about 14 astronomical units. Pontus Brandt at Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory and his colleagues have studied an interstellar probe that would fly by Quaor in the 2030s before continuing to the interstellar medium. Quaor is a logical flyby target for such a mission due to its close proximity to the heliospheric nose. Topic. Notes. Topic References Topic External Links Quaor Discoverer's webpage Quaor could have hit a bigger Pluto-sized body at high speeds video credit, Craig Agner, E. Asfog Data at Johnston's Archive Chile Quaor had a warmer past, nature. Com article Cryovolcanism on Karen and other Kuiper Belt objects Aster BDB, Lowell Observatory 50,000 Quaor at the JPL Small Body Database Close Approach Discovery Ephemeris Orbit Diagram Orbital Elements Physical Parameters <laughs>